Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad exponential equation problem. So here we have a to the power of k plus 2 to the power of k equals 130 and we solve this problem for the values of k. So here you remember that here our k is must be an a real number. So it means that we solve this problem for the real value of k okay so uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we write this 8 into the prime factors form we know that the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed and its exponent is 8 plus 2 to the power of k equals to 130 and now in the next step uh, here uh, we use the nice exponential law so according to this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n then we interchange these two uh, exponents and we write it as a to the power of n to the power of m because after interchanging you always gives us the same answer okay so here we need to interchange these two exponents and it will be written as uh, 2 to the power of k and its cubed plus 2 to the power of k equals 130 and now you see here we have 2 to the power of k be the common term uh, so that uh, now we take here this 2 to the power of k is equals to y so here you know that because uh, we solve this problem for the real values of k it means that here our y is also an a real number okay so that now here uh, when we substitute this value of y in the above equation so that our above equation is written as y cubed plus y equals to 130 and now in the next step we move this 130 in the left hand side and it will be written as y cubed plus y minus 130 is equals to 0. So further uh, you see here uh, we break its middle term because this is the cubic equation and now we make uh, the uh, now we find the values of y by factorization so here we easily make the factors of this equation. So you see here now, now we break this uh, plus y term and we write this y as minus 25y and plus 26y minus 130 is equals to 0. Here we break over uh, this y as minus 25 plus 26 because we know that minus 25 plus 26 equals to plus 1. Okay, so after this step, uh, you see here we have a y be the common term so that we take common y and you get the remaining terms are y minus 25 plus here, uh, here you take common y. So this will become y square minus 25 and here uh, when you take common 26, the remaining terms are y minus 5 is equals to 0. So now further uh, we focus on this term and uh, we rewrite this term as y into y square minus we write 25 as 5 square plus 26 into y minus 5 equals 0. So here we use the nice square identity so according to this identity we write this expression as y into y minus 5 into y plus 5 here we apply a square minus b square we know that a square minus b square equals to a minus b into a plus b so according to this formula we write these terms so we have this is plus 26 into y minus 5 equals to 0 so now you see here we have y minus 5 be the common term so when you take common y minus 5 the remaining terms are y into y plus 5 plus here when you take common y minus 5 you get 26 and this whole equals to 0. Okay so further uh, we need some simplifications here and we again rewrite this equation as y minus 5 into here we multiply this y on both of these terms and it will become y square plus 5y plus 26 equals to 0. And now after this step, 
here we divide this into the two cases so that our first case is we take y minus 5 equals to 0 and the second case is we take y square plus 5 5 plus 26 equals to 0. So here you see that we have y equals to 5 so you see here y equals to 5 and 5 be the real number so uh, this is hold for the value of y and now we uh, first find uh, all the other values of y from this quadratic equation so now here first we check that is this quadratic equation gives us the uh, real root or not because we solve this problem for the real values only okay so that here uh, we apply uh, the discriminant formula in order to check the roots of this equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 5 and c equals to 26 and here uh, we know about the discriminant formula it is stated as disc equals to b square minus 4 times of ac so here we substitute the values of a b and c and we check the behavior of this equation so that when you substitute the values of a b and c here then you obtain 5 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 26 so you obtain 5 square equals to 25 minus 4 times of 26 equals to 104 and 25 minus 104 equals to minus 79 so here you find the value of this discriminant so you see that the value of discriminant is less than 0 and we know that if discriminant value is less than 0 it means that a given equation has uh, no real root uh, or this equation has complex root okay so we just write that no real root so uh, because we solve this problem for the real root so that we rejected this case and we can just proceed here uh, only one case and this is y equals to 5 so that we copy down uh, y equals to 5 here and now we back substitute the value of y and in the start of the problem we will take here our y equals to 2 to the power of k equals to 5 and now in order to find the value of k we need to take the log on both of the sides so that here we take this natural log on both of the sides and it will be written as natural log 2 to the power of k into natural log of 5 here we apply the nice property of log and we move this exponent k in the front of this log and it will be written as k log 2 equals to log of 5 and this implies that here we move this log 2 to the right hand side and it will become the log 5 divided by log of 2 and here we use the calculator or log table in order to find the value of log 5 or log 2 so the value of log 5 is 0 0.6989 and the value of log 2 is 0 0.30 and 10 so when we divide now both of these values then you obtain here k equals 2.3219 and you see here clearly the value of k is real number so this is the final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos